My name is Donnelly Donaldson. I was 24 years old when I went missing on July 11th, 2022 in Kingston, Jamaica. It was the day after my birthday. With my little black bag clutched tightly in my arms, my mother last saw me when I went into my boyfriend, Noel's BMW. He is a Jamaican police officer who I had been with for three years. I told her that I would be back the next day. I couldn't even imagine what was waiting on me there. Ramin to Andrew Oness, you need to have the integrity commission report and the Auditor General report tabled in Parliament. What do you have to hide? You have the distinction of being the head of the most corrupt administration ever in Jamaica's history. What are you hiding? Table, have the things tabled now. Fine. Don't tell me them book cartel. Really? What? <laughs> Atlanta. So what go on my people, respect for tuning in to another video. Yeah, large up on yourself. But from when you see the thumbnail and the title, then you know already know what is on the menu today. Yeah, and basically today we forward for talk about a man disrespecting Andrew Owens and his wife in the worst possible way. So stick around for that. Also, Vibes Cartel and three co-accused get a provisional date of April 2024 to appeal their life sentence. So people, it's a good look for Vibes Cartel so far. You see me I say? And me know right about now the guy as a fans them up in no doubt no one be no picture turn a button me had the goat me no one turn a mutton also chronicler is defending Jashi and I make the people them know one thing so stick around for that also consider to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already also give this video a like and share up the content so that others can be in the know but you already know how we do the thing over here we are gonna just jump in at the intro and come right back to the video so no don't go away we we'll soon forward <coughs> Coulda never forget where me come from No matter what me do, me a man Jamaican Yes, so now people, a man disrespect Andrew Owens and his wife in the worst way, people. May I tell you another the truth, the elder man and uh, play with Andrew Owens, you see me I say. But anyways, we are going to check out the recording together and also please remember to leave your honest opinion about all of this down into the comment section. So check it out. Andrew Owens is going to suck your mama and your wife is going to see me Jeremiah Jenkins is so. When all these folks is so fucking corrupt. You can't blame them because the heads of government, Andrew Wallace and the cabinet are 40 thieves. And Nigel Clark, the Piper's son, they come to destroy Jamaican poor people's career. Nothing now going for poor people again, not if you dog or your yard, poor man can't raise. Not if you come and follow the rappers. Because if you find the dinner today, you can't find it tomorrow. And this blood that never right boy go man. Andrew Wallace going to suck your mama and your wife to see what me, Jeremiah Jenkins, is son. On a bomb of like destruction to poor people. Nigel Clark will suck your mum and your wife. <coughs> me the bad blood that like boy Jeremiah said me. You wanna find me? Me give me telephone number. 838 6892. Flow, call me body boy, running back and me live. Clown a pie and you wall chillani. On a pussy wall to poor people, bomb wall. And tell the police boy them on a train. So them need proper work, blood clad, conduct and training. Cause the most destruction that you know, we are going about the place. They look up in them we are found. One dash we are police at the Police at the child molester, them person and the pastor. Stop up the life, man, you see. The biggest corruption in this country are the police. So how come we the poor people be better off? But who we protect we and serve we are the fuckery. We can't better off. Because them who we are sure. We and resurrect we are the worse than the blood, blood man. Them. Happy son, man. We can't better off because the end of the force is so corrupted. Everybody you turn a corruption. Jamaica, Andrew Wallace, you and your gang of police, them and your friend them. On a naziness. For you come in and when the third the second term, Jamaica gone to the dark body boy and you wallace suck your mama. Mrs. of pussy wall. You pass St. Elizabeth and tell me about you, you know. We are Jane Cospan Christiana. So anywhere you want to find me, can't give me location, I'm in a hide. You pass St. Elizabeth, they tell me about you. You have a brother, we are Rasta, we yeah. play in a band. Andrew Wallace and me, Jeremiah, put it on blood, that's what I need on TikTok. 
Tell her you want me. Yes, some people who hear it from the artist's mouth himself. You see me, I say, I'm here tell you, say, yo, the elder man, yeah, him now nah, play. You see me, I say, yo, the man deal with Andrew Holness. Wicked, my people. But, anyways, just drop your honest thoughts down into the comment section and make me know what you think about all of this. You see me, I say. But coming up in this other news now, people, well, basically, we have a video for sure you know, with Dana Lee Donaldson. And basically, people, it's an AI auto generated version of Dana Lee Donaldson. Yeah, and just basically showcasing and explaining to know what really happened to our daddy, the viewers and subscribers. So just remember to leave your honest thoughts down into the comment section about this and just check out the video right now. My name is Donnelly Donaldson. I was 24 years old when I went missing on July 11th, 2022 in Kingston, Jamaica. It was the day after my birthday. With my little black bag clutched tightly in my arms, my mother last saw me when I went into my boyfriend, Noel's BMW. He is a Jamaican police officer who I had been with for three years. I told her that I would be back the next day. I couldn't even imagine what was waiting on me there. We got to his apartment and spent time together as we always did, but something sinister was brewing. At times, his baby mother would come to his place when I was there to fight me, how does she know? At 8 a.m. the next day, I called my mother. I told her to feed my dog, China, and that I will be home soon to walk her myself. Little did I know those were the final words that she would hear from me. My brother from Cleveland called at around 4 p.m. and we spoke briefly. He called my mother after and told her to call me to take her to the hospital. I didn't pick up that call. When I didn't return home, my mother was worried. Something truly sinister had happened to me. As the night dragged on, she became overwhelmed with fear because my phone was now off. Noel called my mother around 11.30 p.m. He told her that I had left with a friend. That was a lie. My mother caught him in many more lies surrounding my disappearance. He spoke about a phone call that I had with my father to pick up birthday money from MoneyGram. The thing is, that phone call happened at 1 p.m., long after he claimed that I had left his house. I didn't get the chance to enjoy my earth strong properly or even collect the money my father sent. My life was robbed, and now I watch in silence. Please, don't forget me. Yes, yeah, so basically people, that is it and you don't know the full roundup of what really transpired in Danali Donaldson's life and the last day of her life, you see me I say? So hear what people, as what I said before, just drop your honest thoughts down into the comment section about all of this, you see me I say? Make me know what you really think, you see me I say? Yeah, but basically people, I also want to show you a little video here yeah, with Chronicler at different Jashi and at the end of the day and I say, yo, when him grew up, him never used to see them thing yeah, with mana attack artists and be Thing. But anyways, here we are. Just check out the video. I'm gonna like when you see them try out for Josh. You see that daily. I'm gonna like when them do to ride it. When I grew up, I never saw man deal with artists them way. You see what I say? The thing set away now, so I just what we have to do. You see this guy. Yeah, and really and truly people are real talk chronicler attack, you see, you see me, I say, because really and truly, back in the days, we never really hear some no man take it to artists, them kind of way, yeah, like how them take it to Rigan King and Jashi, you see me, I say, but anyways, just tell me what you think about all of this, but anyways, we not each up, so we go carry on now, you see me, I say. Well, coming up in other story now, people. Well, Vibes Cartel and three co accused get a provisional date of April 2024 to appeal their life sentences. Yeah, I don't know this is a great look for the artist Vibes Cartel. You see me, I say, I know the Gaza fans, them right now are elated to hear them thing. You see me? Yeah, but basically, people, the attorney representing Dancehall Entertainer, whose given name is Adija Palmer, confirmed the date with Irie FM. Yeah, people, and we are talk about Bird Samuels that him a vibes cartel liar, you see me I say people more want to leave on honest thoughts down into the comment section, you see me I say especially the Gaza fans them, yeah, let me know how you feel about this situation. There has been a provisional date setting for April of next year 16, 17 and 18 for two and a half days of the appeal of Sean Campbell and Adija Palmer and two other appellants in the Privy Council. This date is not permanent, it may be changed, but we are happy to know that finally this matter will be heard by the highest court, the Privy Council. So it's uh, April 16th, 17th and 18th, 2024, next year. We hope that the appeal will be heard and we will be victorious. 
Yes, so basically people, that is it, you know. And as what I said before, I know so the Gaza fans them glad for hear this because you don't know it is a great look for Vibes Cartel, as I say. So I'm just drop some free Vibes Cartel down into the comment section and also share your thoughts about this and make we know what really are going on, is it? Yeah, but also sticking to Vibes Cartel story, people. Well, Beaky Bailey is just revealing a lot of things about Vibes Cartel, as I say. And basically, you must say Vibes Cartel get boo in Atlanta when he was performing because basically there was a female that come dance from Vibes Cartel and Vibes Cartel shoo her off, you see me? And basically the crowd was like, wow, you see me? I say, and the crowd get mad, you see me? But it, people, you see, instead of me, they are telling you everything you are going. I go just make you check out the video for yourself and you just drop on honest thoughts down into the comment section about this situation. You tell me when boo cartel? Really? What? <laughs> Atlanta. We join the guy Atlanta. And when we join the guy Atlanta, you know, big stage show, you know, Jagger B and we and, and me, me and Cartel. And anyway, we run out there and come down. I'm going to mash up the place. I'm going to mash up the place. I'm going to mash up the place and back at things, you know. Vibes Cartel comes on. Boom, I'm up on the show and I go and go down. Go DJ one show and take money. I'm going to ramp it. So, same time, one girl jump up on the stage you now and start back up on him. And the teacher comes over and push off the girl. I say, we had. And when he push off the girl, I see the whole crowd comes up. <sighs> Not knowing said, that girl is the girl in Atlanta. It's popular. Where everybody loves. And bring them in. And uh, they push her off a stage. They not push her off a stage, man. They push her away. Oh, yeah, because no, no man want no, a woman just come wind up on them. Because I never had them thing. I tell her like the DJ never. You know, and see me like, boo, you know, man, boo, boo. And I tell her, say, John, you know, because the teacher is a very emotional person. You know. Very emotional in terms of people. You right beside him, him emotional. You understand me? So, I said, tear drop start come on. I said, John, you must start. Jagger B, I said, wow, come on, pan stage at the same time. I said, yeah, yeah, hold on, man. I DJ this, you know. I can't be with this, you know. And I said, DJ, come in, man. And DJ, I said, DJ, I said, still, you know, I'm not telling the people. I apologize, you know, but you see me. I'm going to DJ, you know. I'm going to get a DJ, you know. But I said, sure, no. And I said, don't watch your place still, people. But yeah, I know. Me apologize. And me I tell you still, you know, I've been the man I, I can't tell DJ, you know. Moses Davis. When Cart when I write the tune. If I if I if I can I never wild at the world then the world. Him hold that v murder while I did that tune. He wrote that song. Song for killer. They're the baddest DJ there now in my baddest DJ. I mean I have a target the baddest DJ. Because being a man the baddest DJ. Killer. They know killer the baddest DJ, the baddest lyrics them man. So if I have a target and I'm being a being the being have some little soft nice lyrics. Where you must say I'm a being a DJ, but I'm being a cartel DJ for them to cooperate with you. I don't bunty. Yeah. I don't know bunty. Being a man. Cartel, I don't know what the bother that in a little cartel, I'm the teacher that, you know. I want to be no picture upon a button, I had the goat, I don't want to turn a mountain. Yes, so basically people, I want to tell me what to think about everything with BK Bailey, really, as a writer. Because basically to me still, every man get boasted and at the end of the day, Vibes Cartel never did really know that she was the popular thing at them time, you see me? And I also show you, say, basically Vibes Cartel is a very emotional person, you see me? I say? And through that, at the end of the day, Vibes Cartel feels so bad about the situation after it happened, where him cry on stage, you see me? I say? So as well, I say people, just tell me what to think, you see me? I say? Yeah, and my people, I also want to elaborate and let me know what to think about where I say right as so a when I say at the end of the day, Beanie Man is a vice cartel artist and not actually bounty killer, you see me? I say, yeah, just drop a few likes for the if you know, you see me? I say, yeah, but otherwise, people, as well, I said before, just drop your honest thoughts down into the comment section about this entire video. Yeah, share your thoughts and let me know what you really think about it, you see me? I say, yeah, but anyways, people, consider to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Ready. Also, just give this video a like, yeah, and share up the content so that others can be in the know. But you already know how we do it over here, you see me? Peace, love, unity, bless, I'm out.